How's it going everyone? This is Todd aka Redneck Chimp and guys I'm coming to you all today doing a little bit something different. It's been a while since I got through a video for you all and I'm really sorry about that. I've been really really busy with school. Like literally this semester has been absolute heck. They always said it would be. Like I was sort of prepared for it but nothing to this extent. Uh, as you can tell I didn't have time to shave man. I didn't have time to shave. Now this is actually for a no shave ember obviously. Uh, out of respect to those who uh, have been sick and things. Uh, I was doing it out of respect for people with cancer. I think that's generally everybody does. But that was just what I'm doing. Uh, so what am I doing this vlog for? For one, to say hello that I'm not completely MIA. I am still here. Um, I'm just, you know, it's been too, too stressful uh, trying to keep up with the good uh, recording schedule. I am starting a new business venture. Besides just going to PT school. Uh, especially now that this semester is basically up next week. This is dead week right now. Today, this starts the week of dead week. Next week is finals, and then I go into a lot more clinical stuff. So, 90% of my time will be at clinical sites, so I have more time to do work. Now, with that being said, what am I doing? My business venture is basically this. I am now into making homemade, customized, whatever you want to call it, Briar pipes. Yes, briar pipes. Here is uh, one of my prototypes. Uh, this is a rocking billiard. Uh, straight pipe made out of briar. Has a nice rocking bottom to it. I had it come down to a nice little, uh, little point there, dead center of the stem or the shank. Uh, this is a lovely pipe. Has a inch diameter bore. Uh, it's about two inches deep. Uh, this is a very nice pipe. Very, very nice pipe. I was very happy with the outcome of this thing. has some beautiful grains in it. But the next pipe is even prettier than this one. This is my, uh, it's actually my second pipe I made by hand myself. This next one is my third pipe actually that I've made. Already been sewed. Both of these already been sewed. Uh, this one comes in a leather pouch though. Cause that one's already been to the person. Uh, so yeah, it's not in a pouch right now. All my pipes will become a leather pouches. We get more customizable in the future. This is my wife makes these for me though. A mm. um, little red ribbon for uh, or string for more Christmas times. Uh, it kind of stands out better on top of the bag. Within the bag is my third pipe that I made. Very very satisfied with this one. Um, yeah, I wish I had my first one to show you. I'll just show you how much better I've got since the very first one I made. A uh, really nice little felt-like velvety um, insole there uh, inside the bag. This is called the Bent Egg because it's shaped like an egg. If you can see that beautiful grain though, I swear I wish the lighting was better for these phones. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can get over here. There we go. Maybe you can see a little better there. Yeah, so this thing has got amazing grain. It's got amazing bird's eyes. What's it called? Bird's eyes on both sides of the pipe. I wish I could get a better view for you. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, look at that bottom. If I can get everything to... <laughs> this is horrible. But anyways, uh, yeah, this little devil is beautiful. Uh, this will be sent out tomorrow, actually. And... Uh, let me switch hands, guys. My karate's not used to holding up the phone doing these things for some reason. Uh, if I get my finger out of the way. This is amazing, beautiful pipe. I'm so satisfied. Uh, it come out perfect like an egg. I mean, look at that. It looks literally like an egg. Uh, like you took an egg and just cut the top off like you do if you're like, eating a poached egg or whatever they're called. has a inch bore as well. Tobacco chamber. Uh, this is about an inch and three quarters deep, around about. About six inches long, uh, around about that number, about six inches in diameter at its biggest point. Like my fingers won't go around it, but it fits so nicely in your hand. Like for me, anyways, I'm a big handed guy, it fits so nicely. And if you don't want to hold it, it's a per perfect clincher, you know, for that hang. Uh, all my pipes, I send rubber bits like what was on the other one. Uh, that person already enjoying the rubber rubber bit. The little, uh, it basically cushions. Let's see if I can get a lot better for y'all to see it. 
it's basically just rubber, soft, soft rubber. So you can uh, bite with your teeth and hit a stay there, and you can clench it in your teeth, and it stays uh, a lot more comfortably. Uh, these are very comfortable. Don't get me wrong. These are vulcanite stems, but they also show teeth really easily. So a lot of folks don't want to see teeth because they ever want to sell their pipe or want to keep it looking nice. So rubber bits works perfect. Uh, this would be great with a rubber bit for someone, uh, a nice studying maybe pipe or newspaper reading pipe, whatever you know, just sitting there and you know just chilling, just letting it hang. But yeah. Obviously, that'll be cleaned. I'm not going to send it to someone unclean. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you all that, guys. Uh, I'm getting into those. I've got a lot more ideas. I have an Etsy store description below. Uh, these same style pipes, I will make, cause, you know, made to order. I will uh, adjust the colors. Uh, if you want them contrasted like they are, that's fine. If you don't, then you can just tell me that. You have the ability to tell me whatever you want to tell me. Uh, if you want a different shape stem, tell me that. Email me and let me know. Uh, if you want um, a band put on the stem between the stem itself and the wood, feel free to. But anyways, guys, check out I'll have a new channel very soon too. Today's Briar Pipes, that's what it'll be called. Uh, I put videos there very soon, and I will see you all next time. Thanks, guys.